You are such a study in contrast. You're a, qu a very quiet, quiet living man. And you're not gregarious off camera. Are gregarious, you? what does that mean? Is that a dirty word? No. 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 You mean I'm not what, talkative or friendly? Or mouthy or anything. Well, well I'm, um, you know, I'm a, it's hard to say this about yourself. You must accept my word. I am almost psychotically shy. I am shy with people. And a lot of this bravado that goes on is only uh, uh, faking, you know, you know, to be gay. And, and, but my real thought is to get the hell out of here, if you don't mind, <laughs> and go somewhere and sit down, you know, and read something. I, 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 uh, this is not my, uh, I, don't, I have no wish to be on, dear, that's what, that's what I'm trying to say. Doesn't it, doesn't it surprise you that uh, with all of this, you thrive in the most extroverted business of all? Yes, that is strange, isn't it? But I can't do anything else. I can do one other thing, and that's cut lawn. Now, I mean, what kind of a thing is that? Uh, and there's, no, uh, no, there's no security in it. In the winter, you lay off, you know, for about eight months. It's nothing. At well, first, my interest was, was in speech because I had a terrible impediment in my speech, and I couldn't speak. And if you uh, rib me or needle me badly, I will do it now for you. But it's not much of an act. It just slows the show down, you know, like for an hour. I have trouble speaking if I become conscious of it. And my, uh, my attempt to get over that made me interested in speech and voice. And that led me to show business. Certainly, I don't have any, you know, talent for it, like singing or dancing. None of those things are mine. And I was, so I was interviewed on the street one day when I was a kid. I was 16, and someone asked me a question, and I answered it like I answered you. What was the question? Something about the penal system in Michigan. What do I know about it? But I made a long speech. I'm capable of that. And then, they had a lot of letters at the station, and they hired me as announcer. A lot of letters was 12. My mother wrote 11 of them. The whole thing was rigged <laughs> from the beginning, you know? And then Hollywood came after that. I'm skipping through. Hollywood, yes, Hollywood. Nothing much happened there. I was there seven years. I was in a contract to RKO for three years and only worked a couple of days. But thanks to Howard Hughes, I'm still a new face. He owned that studio at that time. You were in Love Nest with Marilyn Monroe. Yes, I was. Small part. Her part was small, too. I was her boyfriend. And, uh... Were you impressed? With Marilyn? Architecturally, yes. <laughs> I mean, that kid is built. But, uh... Uh... Too much too soon. I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> that That isn't the end of the world. A bus line. What brought about Although her? a bus line is necessary if you live in the suburbs. Yeah, I must uh, say that. <laughs> I could be much funnier if you had an audience. You know, I'm dead in this place. But go ahead. When people laugh. 